Mike Hagan, and welcome to another day of the Strength Team podcast. We are uh, uh, last day at the Southern Baptist Convention here in 2012 here in New Orleans at the uh, Convention Center. I tell you what, it's been awesome connecting with churches and and talking about uh, reaching people for Christ, partnering with churches all over the country uh, that have a vision and a dream to to reach people in their city or their town for Jesus. And so it's it's been awesome. Probably we've handed over about 300 packets. We've talked in the last couple of days to a lot of different people, and I'm a little tired, but all's good. How how are you feeling, Andy? Oh, it's yeah. It's been a long week. We did uh, crossover events all across the city, uh, which was great. Uh, I think we were in about 10 or 12 different crossover events with different churches, and uh, it, it, so we've we've seen all of New Orleans, but we haven't really seen New Orleans. That's what I've been telling everybody because we've been so busy just sharing the gospel and and doing feats of strength and uh, got to do some great things. A big concert with Trip Lee, and so Strength Team has been out in full force throughout the city of New Orleans, and uh, it's really been a blessing to be here. We got to be a part of history for the Southern Baptist Convention yesterday. Uh, they voted uh, to elect their their next president the first African-American president of the Southern Baptist Convention and so very exciting about some of the things that are going on and and just amazing how God works it was it was happened on Juneteenth Day which we know is the, a day we celebrate the abolition of slavery in America and so just really cool to see uh, some historical events here in New Orleans while we've been here uh, preaching the gospel and seeing people get saved so uh, also of course connecting with uh, a lot of different pastors from all across the country and and uh, I know I said this back when we were in Orlando but it, it, a lot of times it feels like a family reunion when you come back to these uh, yeah. events because with so many pastors and churches that we've done events with in the past that are excited about bringing us back and rebooking um, some different events with the strength team so uh, it's been a busy couple been days but it's been good. So, so you gotta understand the convention is 12 hours a day all day on your feet talking with people. Your brain gets a little tired, doesn't it, Will? Your brain definitely gets a little tired, Mike. Uh, we grow a little weary sometimes, but you know what, like Andy said, what's refreshing is a lot of times, especially with the strength team, we get out there, we, 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 you know, we sow seeds, and we don't always get to see the harvest of what comes forward. But like Andy said, what's refreshing for me is to meet some of the pastors that we've been speaking to all year and the, the churches that we've gone, and they come back and tell us what has taken place in that church and how it's affected the community. And um, that's what keeps us going. That's what's refreshing to us. Um, at the times we go weary like this, when uh, you know we're down here working really hard. I think uh, what Saturday, what we had ten crossover events we did. We had ten crossover events that we yeah. did. 174 decisions. So I think all together in all the outreaches for the crossover before the convention, there was over a thousand decisions that were made. And so. We were just a part of a lot of different things, a lot of different outreach and ministry that was going on in New Orleans. And so next week, of course, we're getting ready, actually uh, finishing up this week um, in New Orleans and then going on to Colorado, Colorado. And this is all part of the homecoming tour. I think the Gaithers had a homecoming tour and Andy wants to put me, you know, take me home in the... Montana. Back to Montana. Back to Montana, all the way through Colorado from uh, starting just uh, just really east of Denver, all the way across the state, ending up over in the Grand Junction side. We're doing the big uh, music festival again in Olathe, and uh, it's Night Vision Festival, and so that'll be great to get back there and see some of those guys and uh, see some of those bands again. It'll be a good time as it always is. 
and uh, and so we're looking forward to to a lot of a lot of people getting saved in Colorado. That's the next stop for the strength team, uh, big tour all the way across the state. So it'll be good good trip. Okay, let me close with this. Uh, one of the things that we've been talking with is local pastors about partnering, about doing crusades. And one of the things that I was reading earlier this week is in John 4:35, where it says, don't save four months more than the harvest. Because it says to look for the, the fields, for they're ripe and they're ready for harvest. And, and, the, and the harvest fields, they're ripe, but the laborers are few. And one of the things that I believe that we need to be in this world today is that we need to be as Christians, as people who are advancing the kingdom of God, to see people being brought out of darkness and into the light. And the only way that that can happen is when Jesus Christ comes into a person's heart and gives them new life in Christ. The message of the strength team is, you hear us say this all the time, that you have to have a relationship in your heart with the Lord. That, that knowing Christ in your heart is different than just going to church on Sunday. And so the message, uh, we travel around, we talk about every week after week, never gets tired, never gets boring to us because we know it's an eternal difference that is being made by the not just by our words and what we say, but by the Spirit of the Lord that draws people to salvation. And so when we talk to these pastors, we have a, a desperation to see people come to Christ. And uh, we haven't done a podcast in about a month and a half, and so this might be a little bit longer than normal, but uh, I'm going to let just Will just close it out. And uh, God bless you, friend. Thanks for watching the strength team. And, and uh, Will, what do you want to say in just closing here? Well, just close it. It's a finish to a excellent week and uh, look forward to getting off my feet. That's about it. Like Justin Sneeder say, I don't want to ruin this thing, so you better turn the camera. That's right. So anyway, God bless you. And we got, uh, we'll see you next week. Another edition of Mike Hagan's String Team Podcast.